Alrighty, so the next thing you have to do is you've got to actually level your build plate. Now, uh, MakerBot provides you with a, um, a little card, which I've actually got stuck on the back there, uh, for doing this. Um, what I use is a feeler gauge. Now I keep this one in a Ziploc bag with some oil so it doesn't rust because it's just made out of steel. Um, this is a 0.1 millimeter um, piece of uh, steel. And so it provides you with a very accurate way of measuring the, uh, the distance from the print head to the um, build plate. And so you can use the leveling routine uh, that comes on the printer to do that. Of course, because it's had oil on it, you'd have to just um, wipe it nice and clean so that you don't end up putting oil all over your um, build plate and then you know whack it back in there once you're done. These can be purchased at um, auto parts suppliers. They'll come in a whole kit with lots of them, but they're not expensive. This, I think the set was about $12. I actually use the rest of them or some of the larger ones for shims on my lathe in my shop. So I had this one as a spare and I just unscrewed it and pulled it out. Um, that being said, um, once you've kind of done your basic leveling, uh, you don't need to use this anymore because there are other more convenient ways of uh, leveling the printer. And to do that, I have a, uh, a dial indicator. And this is using an attachment that I designed that basically clips onto the side of the extruder. So I'm going to open up uh, Replicator G uh, and I'm going to connect to my printer, open up the control panel and basically move the extruder out into the middle so I can clip this on. So it just uh, clips onto the side of the extruder like that. And I'm going to basically move it back and center the dial indicator over the top of the rear thumb screw and then move the build plate up which I'm doing now. Now we're very close so I'll just slow that right down so that's more precise. That's um, giving me a setting uh, over the top of that thumb screw. I'll drop it down a bit, I'll move it forward and then to the side, so it's over the top of this one. And I'll move the Z back up and just check that they're the same. So that one just needed a little bit more. There we go. Drop it back down. Move it over to the other side. Pop it back up. And that one's got a wee bit too much. There we go. So basically we've got... um. 0.01 of a mil on all three points, which is pretty quick and easy, uh, and we're done. And uh, so I'll just um, move that back and to the center, unclip it, and we're ready to print. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you how you can do a uh, interactive um, print to basically confirm uh, that the printing's there. So I've got this um, interactive build plate uh, leveling print aid here. It's basically a large disc and, um, and you can use it to really fine tune um, the build plate leveling to make sure that you're getting that nice glassy surface finish on the first layer which is what you want. So if you've just got your printer and all you've got is the uh, MakerBot support card then I would start by just using that and the uh, leveling script that comes with it and then you can download this print aid from Thingiverse and, uh, and then follow the procedure that I'm going to show you now. Alright here we go. Uh, it's going to just do the smear and then uh, my um, setup uh, runs a skirt around the outer edge so it'll do that first. 
Now it's printing the first perimeter. It's doing one um, extra layer around the outside edge, like a shell. And, uh, and now it's going to go into printing. So it'll start there. It's going back and forth. Now it's doing this side and, and there's only a little bit there. So what I tend to do is I back it off, which basically means I tighten it, and that lowers the edge. And I'll do that until we start seeing some, some threads. Uh, so it starts sort of threading and, and not providing a nice flat layer. And then I'll basically just keep tensioning it, so pushing it back up until we get a nice even smear. And then as the printing moves towards the center, I'll start looking at the back one and I'll do the same. I'll tighten it so I pull the build layer down and it'll start to get a little bit messy. And then I'll just keep edging it up until we end up with a, with a nice clean print. Um, and then again for the far side, as it moves over to the far side, I'll do the same thing. And the, and the, the leveling screws are just basically underneath here. So there's one here, there's one here and there's one at the back. And, uh, and the idea of this particular procedure is that it's interactive. So what you're doing is you're, you're interacting with the build plate while it's printing and you're seeing the results of making those adjustments on the build surface. And what you, end up, what, what you want to end up with is that nice glassy first layer print. Now, as you do the adjustments, because this isn't completely firm, you can see I can move it up and down. What you need to do is do the adjustment and then pull your finger away and see what the result is and then do another bit and pull it away because you'll, you'll, event, you'll find that you'll jiggle it a little bit and that will affect the, the, the surface finish. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I run that in order to sort of calibrate um, the, the bed levelling and it's, it's pr it's, it is the most precise technique. I mean all the other things I think get you close. Um, but this gets you a result which really is representative of, of the result that you're going to get in your prints and that's really what, what matters. Alrighty, so that one's done. I'll just um, remove that. So you can see here I'm just working around the edges with the spatula. And uh, it'll just because it's just a single layer, it'll just peel off. And it hasn't damaged the, uh, the tape at all, which is what we're, what we're after. There's a few little bits that are still stuck on where it was smearing a bit hard while I was adjusting, well, you know, I was wiggling it and stuff. And you'll have some gaps where you've been uh, testing it, but basically the bits where it's good shouldn't pull apart. They should be nice and well, you know, with a bit of force you can pull them apart, but um, if it's too stringy, they'll just uh, rip apart and you'll see like all these strings coming down. But once you've got it right, they've got pretty good strength on them. Well, that, that bit was a bit thin actually, but um, and that's what you're looking for. And you can do another print at the end, um, like another one again, just to confirm that you've got it right. Um, and it should come out with that nice smooth finish uh, and, and a lot of strength in each strand as it's matted together. It's pretty much just smearing a layer on there like just sort of spreading butter uh, on a bit of bread uh, with, with each layer joining together nicely and a small, just a slight ridge in between each, each layer that's going down. And then you'll end up with, you know, if you look at the underside of that, it's nice and flat. Cool, so that, once you're getting that kind of result, that's pretty level. And, uh, and then you can start um, printing from there. And, and once you've leveled it, it really doesn't get out of level um, very much at all. So just uh, give that a little bit of a wipe and we're ready to do whatever comes next.